Hi there, Joka here with my project with the Spa Binders uh, December Small Die Kit. Um, here's the kit. As you can see, it's a larger uh, stitching piece that you can um, well, you can use it separately from that background or together with it or layer them uh, on top of each other. And then there's three different sentiments. I really love these kind of uh, sentiments that Spa Binders has lately um now there is no reason why i have a dark green layer there on the bottom <laughs> um that just so happened that i originally wanted to um go green <laughs> you know i, I wanted to uh, use that green for my main piece but then i just didn't like it so i die cut again the same shape from this nude i think it's actually called dune maybe um cardstock from spa binders and again i did not want to waste that and i thought it's nice to have an extra layer it it looks more dimensional and i knew that i was gonna uh, want to add some color to this and so I die cut each of these rows of shapes from a different color from dark green to lighter ones and then um, into like salmon kind of colors I have no idea how I came up with this combination honestly it's often just whatever is next to me and um, speaks to me. I, I haven't touched cardstock from my main stash in ages. There's a, a cart next to me with um, colored cardstock piling up on it that sh I should sort a lot of scraps. Um, and often I just pull out some from there and go with that. But I actually do like um what this looks like and instead of going with an a2 card and then this one as a center piece um i decided to go with my um favorite five by seven size five by seven inch size um then i also use this this is also a relatively new set from spa binders just some basic hearts it's not the same heart shape as the as the kit but I think I uh, well I think it works with it uh, I don't mind it anyway but I wanted to add some more color to that background and also if you can see this is actually a stitching die which I did not stitch because I'm I would say I'm lazy though, but I don't know it's not laziness I just I've been stitching on projects for years and at this point um no <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, sometimes no, you know, I had been stitching on scrapbook layouts for so long that I think I'm done with it, kind of. Sometimes okay, but not all the time, you know, so um, I did not want to stitch that background. And in fact, I also did not want to stitch the heart that comes with this uh, kit, but then... I did in the end, <laughs> you will see. Um, so because this embossing folder is so gorgeous, I want to use it on everything. Uh, this is a relatively new 3D embossing folder. Isn't that so pretty? But then, um, so I created that background, but um, I will not use it actually because I thought it was too busy for what I wanted to use it. Um, so first I'm gonna finish this card. So basically I went with two of these uh, panels that are the same. I marked the middle, not that it helped me all that much. Um, and then I kind of centered these two panels and added a layer of the smaller heart just to make it uh, more colorful and bright. And then I'm pulling in some of these leaves from the large die kit, um, because even, you know, if I cannot use flowers, at least some foliage, um, I don't know, I just need some 
some movement on my cards, some layers, if that makes sense. Um, I think I will sh- I will um, show you that I which part I used in just a, a minute, and then I decided to put my sentiments on the two hearts, so I separated them. So with love, um, I don't know if that actually makes sense. I just wanted to uh, do something different with this die. So you see, that's the large die kit uh, part of it, and as you can see the the leaves you have to well I die cut and then I just cut off a part of it and I'm just trying to figure out how I want uh, to add those and I use two different greens on on that and now um, I'm just trying to figure out what color uh, sub sentiment or well I don't actually know if these two sentiments work together <laughs> let me see I don't remember what it was uh, forever mine I mean you know it's not they are not don't necessarily make sense together but i don't hate them <laughs> and then uh, just to add something to those stitching circles again some more texture some more color i'm adding the tiniest enamel dots luckily i have so many enamel dots that i always find uh, matching colors maybe they don't match perfectly but they work uh, fine I think so that's done and then from for my next card I am pulling in some flowers from the large die kit because you know me I I need my flowers <laughs> um I don't know I just I, I don't know I, I just had this idea you will see what I mean and I really wanted to uh, see what that looks like so here are the hearts that actually come with this kit um, for the middle section of that large piece and this is a stitching die which I origin originally did not want to stitch but I don't know if can I tell you what <laughs> one of my friends said that it looks like boobs so um, <laughs> can I say that in the video um, so I decided to stitch them anyway, but I did not stitch all of them. You will see what I um, did with them in a second. But I am now slowing down this part uh, so you can see the stitching. I'm anchoring the thread um, like so. So I have a, a knot at the end and then I'm going through it. So it's kind of you know, it doesn't come apart, but I don't have to use any tape or anything. I don't trust tape. I don't trust glue. So I figured this is, well, this is how I always do it. And then um, as those typical spa binders dies, they have one hole in the middle and then um, all the others are around and then you just go back and forth between the middle and the other holes to create these um, patterns and then once I'm done I'm always adding a French knot which I will also show you how to do um, again I'm anchoring my thread here um, and then I will go back in that hole in the middle and now I will wrap that thread hopefully I'll come back in frame I wrap that thread around the needle twice and then I will go back down hopefully not in the same spot where I came up because then you know then it doesn't work but since I have so many uh, pieces of thread there chances are that I can never go back in the same spot even if I tried so uh, it's very simple to do this but I don't know it just adds something to it and I don't like to add enamel dots on on thread you know it's never gonna hold long or in the long term um, so I'm going around here at the bottom and then at some point I'm gonna uh, run out of thread I think I wanted to leave that in as well just so that you see what I do I mean it's not uh, rocket science obviously 
but just in case you're interested. This one is already too short, so I have to go back and use that tail um, and tie a knot there. So what I do is I take apart, um, this is a six ply thread, uh, right? So um, I just use half of it. I use three, um, what did I say, plies? <laughs> Um, because with six it wouldn't work. The holes are not big enough in the middle, uh, I don't think. So I always just use three. I think it's enough. Um, and then I tie like a double or triple knot, then get rid of the tails or the ends. Um, so nothing is visible from the front. And then I finish the project and normally, um, I don't know if you will see that now, let's see after I uh, tie that knot. Normally I'm trying to go in between two of those holes into the next section just so that I don't have to uh, tie an extra knot and then start over in the next section if that makes sense. If I can go between two holes on the back, then you will not see see that from the front, if that makes sense. Let, let's see if I can show you here. You see? Because otherwise you would see that thread uh, from the front if you can't go between two of those holes. Oh, I don't know how to explain this, but I think if when you see the design, you will understand. Okay, so this is done and I did, I think, three of these uh, in different colors. And then at the other three, because I'm going to use six um, hearts, the other three I'm decorating with the flowers that I put together earlier. So this is what I really wanted to do, just um, create these floral hearts because I thought they are so cute. And yeah, so I have three of these stitched hearts and st three of the floral ones and I'm adding some foam tape to the middle of each section here so that they are not visible from the front and this is kind of my idea here um, for the you know for the card design and this is where I thought this uh, background is a bit too busy with all that texture that I already have and then this one seemed so boring I just tried to figure out what I could do but I don't have any embossing folder that is simple <laughs> so um, I'm just creating some diagonal stripes with my um, bone folder and this what is this tool called again I don't remember and this is an easy way to add texture, um, some simple texture, you know, that is not distracting from the design. It's geometric, um, so it works fine with um, all kinds of shapes, if that makes sense. <laughs> and uh, so this is going to be my finished um, design. So I am just have to glue everything down. I cut off that um, leaf. I'm going to add that back, but I uh, had to cut it off because it was um, hanging off to the side. And I don't like to do that um, because it's hard to mail cars like that. And it's always in the way and it gets torn. You know, it's better if it's on top of the main card base. Um, Okay, so once I uh, glue them down, I'm adding my sentiment and I still needed color. Um, that background was just too plain. <laughs> so I pulled out some more enamel dots and I'm adding some of the, well, like a tone on tone kind of thing um, around each heart. And yeah, like I said, I have been collecting enamel dots for so many years. I probably really have all the colors so I always find something um, 
Yeah, and uh, that's all it is. Uh, the card is now done. I'm just uh, pressing down the enamel dots so that they stick uh, forever. So here are the finished projects. I hope that I could give you um, some ideas with the with this new kit. Um, actually, that hopefully these two ideas are quite different. Maybe. Uh, you like one or the other or both or neither, <laughs> I don't know. But I hope I could give you some ideas. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you uh, check out the other video up on my channel today. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.